Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're talking once again about a barrel product. This is the tale of two islands. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, what did mm-hmm. Barrel send us this time? All right. So once again, Barrel sent us this fun little sample here. This Barrel Bourbon, the cash register, Tale of Two Islands. What makes this up is 118.2 proof, so very nice. It's a five-year-old batch one distilled in Indiana with a five, six, nine-year-old, and then in Maryland with a five and 16-year-old. It were, but they were both finished in a Tale of Two Islands, which is a rum that was then finished in a Isla cask. That was from 2018 that they put the bourbon into. So this is a mash bill of 70% corn, 23 rye, 4 barley. So very interested to see what this tastes like. So should be very interesting. Do you like rum? Do you like Isla Pete? We'll see. Yes Ooh. and no. I, I smell the rum <laughs> first thing. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding, right? Yeah. The sweetness of it is right there. Way sweet. You know, I am happy to say that this doesn't have any of that godforsaken Tennessee whiskey in it. Yeah, I know. You were thought what I was saying. I was like, oh, thank you, God. There's no dick on here. <laughs> I, I like, smelled it. And, I was like, I like, it. and then you listed the, the what, where it the was The distilleries. And, and she like, was like, oh, yay. Like, thank you. Thank God. Thank you oh, so much. God. Keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. lots of caramel butterscotch. Um, I have smelled rums that are less sweet on the nose than this. Yeah, this is like cake, like a cake donut. A little bit yes. of coconut. Yeah. Did they leave the barrel wet with I rum? Think so. oh, oh, they, they had rum in this barrel. They had yeah, to a little bit of a little bit of smoke, like a wisp of smoke. Not much. The mint, rye, a little medicinal, banana, like banana chips, caramel, like those, uh, toffee, and the trail mix. Man, I'm cherry, so peach rings, so candy. Little. Having a hard time getting past that sweetness. Very sugary. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, it's like, it's all like the candied stuff. It's not really like the real fruit to me. Candied apples, candy. Yeah. 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 And this, this round around, I just got um, peaches, but the peaches that are the, the candied ones with the sugar. Yeah. So it's those peach rings. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. Up. Peach rings. Or I got peach tiny, but like I said, that smoke's just barely there. Real fruit juice, so yeah, yeah, exactly. It's got five percent juice, right? And there was one of those rings that was like half peach, but I, I don't know if it was peach. But then the other coating, the, the bottom side was like a white, and it was like the cream. It's peach and cream. It was, a, it was a peaches and cream. That's man, it's just so candied. Yeah, it's wild. I'm not getting a lot from an Isla barrel. I'm not either. No, no it's like it's, it's like a wisp, and that's about it. And, and for me, it's like an ashy wisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, not like full on like smoky or medicinal. Right. Yeah. Guess we'll see if it's there or not. Rum. Rum. Yeah, the rum is right there on the front. With that sweetness and kind of coats your tongue. Thank God um, for the proof. And then it it veers off into your bourbons, but I still am having a hard time finding the Isla cask. I'm looking for like, it's barely there. It's got just a slight smokiness on the finish. Yeah. I, but again, I've tasted more, Ooh. I've tasted more things that had a really heavy barrel char that I would call more smoky than this. On the very finish, you get a little of that inky peat. That's about it. Like it's like a lemon. Most of it, this cherry, butterscotch, toffee, caramel, and a little bit, of, and a lot of molasses too. I get. The rum. Yeah, it's it's all of the just overly sweet things that you would find. I really like to try this this tail of this actual product prior the rum in the Isla cast. I think that'll be interesting to try that, but I don't really have that unfortunately. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's it, it does have a bit of smokiness to it, but I've, again, I've tasted sixteen year old bourbons that were denser and more smoky than this is. It's, it's I'm not getting that Isla Cask influence on the finish, the very back end yeah, of about the it. finish. It's got a slight ashy, incense yep. mm-hmm. smokiness to it, and that's really yep. all I get in that aspects of it. Right, but again, like Old Forester has 
sometimes more of an incense, more of an ashy. No, I'd agree. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it. It's I like it. Very sweet. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, I liked it. I think I looked it up. Things like eighty-five bucks a bottle. So I think they're charging for it. But it's barrel, which is pretty. Actually, for barrel, it's actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, but barrel can get uh, usually around a hundred. So right around. Pretty, right. pretty good price, to be honest. Yeah. So no, it's it's unique. I mean, it's a very sweet. You like you're like you really like a sweet bourbon. You like that a little bit of hint of that smoke, but there's not a ton of it there. It's not overpowering. It's interesting though. It's something I don't think. I think it's something different. It's- or for someone that's it's a pretty advanced whiskey, I'd say. Yeah. Um, it's just there's a lot going on. This not mostly in the sweeter candy ranges than in the peaty ashy ranges. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yep, yep it's good. So uh, thanks for all for this. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to the other one you guys sent, the Ombriano, which we'll do here soon in the next few weeks for you guys. Nice. Excellent. Yep. Always interested to see what Barrel's sending out. Always something fun. Yeah. You know, yeah. Rarely do we not like it. Pretty much a 99% success rate on them for the most part. As long as they don't use too much of that pickle. Yeah, that's the only part we generally aren't a fan of. Yeah. They do a very good job blending, though. Of mass- yes, they, do. they are quite the master. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> of, of blending. Well, when you're using this pickle, you have to mask it. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Come hang out with us live on Monday nights and check out Patreon for behind the scenes fun. And until next time, keep on crocheting butter whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know what that is.